All right. Well, um, you know, we're talking about things that come across our desk from time to time that's noteworthy of of bringing up and and um, supporting and and um, you know, it's kind of cool, especially when it becomes one of our own. Um, and at this at this time. I want to uh, have Mallory come up, and I, I don't think she needs much of an introduction, am I right? For anyone that doesn't know who Mallory is. You want to kill, want to kill that? Oh, is it off? Okay. For anyone that doesn't know who Mallory is, you probably have been sleeping on the job. So, because uh, she is everywhere, and she's part of the, uh, the cleaning crew, and you're getting a new career path, I understand. Yep, yep. Over at Acura. When do you start yep. that? Today. Ah! So I bet Hendrix isn't sitting over there going, where is she? Yeah. I want her back to work. Um, anyways, the short time that I've gotten to know Mallory, um, she's left a big impact on me, and uh, I'm pretty proud of her because uh, she, um, she likes to talk, and she's not afraid to talk and, and approach people, and that's a pretty good gift to have. And so I've asked her to come this morning just to share with us a little bit about um, a trip that she's going on. And you saw the baked goods out there. She's been doing a lot of fundraising, her and her mom, and trying to get some things uh, put together financially so she can go on this awesome trip. And I've asked her to share it with us. So on that note, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay. okay you only got 10 minutes, though. So. Okay. No, that's good because I don't know if this thing's working. But, yeah, I know a lot of you. And it's kind of crazy because I'm not a really good speaker. Like, I get super nervous. And like my heart beats and everything just shakes. And so, part of the reason is because I just, I'm a nervous person in front of like a big group. And the other part is when I get really passionate about sharing my heart and my heart is for Jesus and that's who I serve. And when Jesus wants me to say something, it's like boom, 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 boom. So it's a little bit of both, but it's, it's not as bad when I look around and I see everyone here and it's just, it brings so much joy. And I just want to thank Steve for giving me this opportunity to speak and um, yeah, I'd love to share my heart. And those of you who really talk to me and get to know me, I love Jesus and I love coffee. <laughs> it's just what I'm really passionate about. And when you become a follower of Christ, he calls you to be his witnesses. And in Acts 1-8, it says, For I've called you to be my witnesses in all of Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And I don't really need to <laughs> use this to read my scriptures. It's just more of a comfort because this is what I live by. This is what I go by. And um, I'm super passionate about people because... There's hurting people everywhere around this world, and your mission just doesn't, it doesn't like start and stop when you go across the world and across the country. It's every day, it's everywhere you go, and every day I wake up and say, God, what is it that you want me to do today? What is it that you want me to speak into other people's lives? Because there's so many hurting people in this world, and I have the key, and I have the answer, and that's Jesus. And when I go over there, I, I can give them shoes and clothes, but all those things, they're not lasting. They fade. So I'm there to give them Jesus, not a religion, but a relationship with him. And that's the most important thing. And I, what I have to offer is salvation. And if there's anything that I would like, love for you guys to take when you guys go back into work is um, ask yourself, like, Lord, where would I go? Because we could leave and we could die. And there, there is a heaven and there is a hell. And you must know that you know that you have a relationship with him because your soul is eternal. It's, it lives forever and ever. And when you lean on Jesus, he gives you everlasting life. And that is the key to all your, like, wondering, like, what is life? What am I living for? And the name of Jesus is so powerful. And it's the name above all names. And that's what I live for. And it's kind of funny because on my 21st birthday, people are like, oh, are you going to go party and drink and have fun? And I'm like, no, that's not living for me. Living for me is helping people who are hurt and who are in need. And so that's, that's my passion. And in Philippians, it says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. For me, living is for Jesus and spreading the gospel and get, handing people a relationship, not a religion. So that's what I get really passionate about. And you guys, by like helping me with funds, is not just helping me go, but you're also helping people in Africa. And um, just getting me there is just so wonderful. And it, it almost like it brings me to tears because this is what I'm so passionate about. Where are you in going? Tanzania. I'll Man. be in. I'll, I'll be gone from April 2nd to the 17th, and I'm kind of like, to be honest, I'm a little nervous about the funds because it's not just me, it's my, my entire team. There's about five of us, but um, I had a friend, she lives there, and we're going to be going with her, and 
she's like, people say, why do I have $5? Instead say, God, I have $5, multiply. So I believe like God is using each and every one of you, whether you're a believer or not, he's using you to help me and God will multiply. He will provide because I believe and I have faith. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for coming and for taking time. And if you see me, and if you, if you don't think I come and say hi, grab me and get a hold of me. Ask me questions. If you need prayer, I would love to pray for you. I'd love to take time. Um, it's just, it's cool because each and every one of you, when I look at here in the room, you all have a story. You all go back home. You all have like something that you go home to. And whether you're hurting or you want to know more or you're seeking, ask me, ask me. I, I will help you. I'm so, I know, like you may see this little girl running around, but ask me because I have a heart this big. I don't think this thing's working, but. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> so you can see it's not hard to get behind her and what she's doing and what she believes in. She's pretty dedicated about it and really has a real heart about it. And that's mm -hmm. another reason why many of us in this room, I could go around from each location and talk to the different guys that stepped up that we talked about your trip. And I guess really what we want to know is, you know, you've, you and your mom have been working really, really hard at baked goods and you probably spent a lot of nights trying to figure all this out. Mm -hmm. So how, how much more do we need to sell for these baked goods out here? What, what, where, give, give me a ballpark. Where, where are we missing the mark here to get you off to Africa? Well, me alone, it's about 1000 but my team, is it's going to be about 3000 or more. Okay. All right. So but for you personally? It's about 1000 It's about $1,000. Yeah. So, so you, what you're saying is about $1,000 would probably wipe out the rest of those those baked goods, do you think? I hope so. Think I'm, so. I'm believing and I'm praying and I'm having yeah. faith, so yeah. Yeah, well, yep. <laughs> well, we do too. And Ronnie, where are you, buddy? We went around uh, at different locations. And by the way, we've got someone else over here. Right now. Right here. Oh, we know that guy? That's my dad. That's your dad. This is the guy that's responsible for a lot of this. Uh, we went around the room. I stopped counting at 2,000. So there's more than that in here, and I don't know, that's for you to know. And there's an old story about your cup runs over. And I believe that you are going to use this to the best of God's ability <coughs> and your ability. And we want you to meet needs when you're over there and have the ability to go over there and you see an issue, you can meet it right then and right there. You don't even have to think about it. You can help spread the word and do what you do. Can you do that for us? All right. Can I share one more? Yes. Now, I'm going to give this to Dad just yeah, because of there's cash and checks and everything in here, and I think no one's going to mess with him. Right? No, he's, he's good. Right? Thank you. There's a scripture in uh, Joshua, and it says, Choose whom this day you will serve. Every day I wake up and I say, Jesus, I choose to serve you. And how God has actually brought me to Renati, um, I started cleaning. And I was like, oh, like, Lord, I don't like cleaning. I hate it. Like, <laughs> like these guys, Ronnie, you know. I'm like, man, these guys. But I was like, I'll serve. I will serve because that's who God has called me to be is to serve people. And it was so awesome because I was praying. And I knew God was, cleaning's not you know, what I'm going to do the rest of my life. And it was cool because the, another door opened, which was to go to Acura. So I'll be working at Acura today. And it was awesome just talking to um, Steve Egebron and Dave Hendricks. And I'm like, yeah, I've been praying. And I didn't even know that they're Christian people. And it was just so cool, like, how God works. And I know the God that I serve. And I know how real he is. And he's changed my life and what he's done in my family's life. Um, and I, I, know, I know that I know who I serve. And I know what my God can do. And I just, I really encourage you, each and every one of you, to seek God for yourself, to find out for yourself. Don't go based off of pastors or this church or looking up sermons online, but read. It's a relationship. In a relationship, you're like, well, how do you know God? How do you know? Because I always have people ask. <laughs> you need to seek it for yourself. Like, with your relationship with a friend, you spend time with them. You get to know them. With Jesus, you need to spend time. This right here is everything. This is the key. Spend time, seek it to yourself. Go home. Even when you go to work, when you go back, pray and say, God, show me, reveal to me. And I promise you, because I know the God that I serve, I promise you, he will reveal himself. 
If you have any questions, come to me. Can you pray? Come to me. Well? I, got, I got a question. How did Acura get you? I'd like to know that. What is it? What is it? Do, we need to, do we need to take this thing up on a bidding war here? I'm not quite sure how that got pulled off. Acura. Acura. What's wrong with so, that? Nothing. Inside joke. They know what I'm talking about. So, hey, if you haven't had a chance, if you didn't get a chance to, uh, to help support her and you want to, you still can. So you can uh, see her dad over here or see Mallory. And, and I know that every dime and every penny that will be put in her hands will be used without any neglect at all. I believe it. I really do. So at this time, I'm going to ask, where's Gordy? Gordy, why don't you go ahead and wrap this up for us? You know, I'll just pray for Mallory. Sure, sure. I just want to shake. I'm like, <laughs> I got a quick story. As you can see, she does like to talk. Um, the first time I met Mallory, I went down to lunch, and she's got this book right here open, and she's reading, and I happen to notice that. So I asked the question, not knowing how much she talks. Uh, so, so, so what you reading? Well, for the next 15 minutes, uh, I got a little story. I'm sorry, and. and it was awesome, but, but my food got cold and in the process, but, <laughs> but uh, I knew right then that this was a pretty special lady. So uh, for all of you who have supported her or are going to support her, um, she's going to go a long way. God's got her hand, got his hand on her. So let's bow our heads for her. Father, we thank you for Mallory. We thank you for her heart. We see her passion. We see her love for you. As we're able to help send her out, I pray that your love and your mercy and your grace will go with her that you'll surround her with your love and protection, and she will bless everything she puts her hands to. In your name we pray this, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you,